Hey everybody, it's Lisa, and today I want to talk about everybody's favorite subject, traffic. Building traffic to your website or blog, the key thing that you need to succeed to make money. You gotta have traffic, and not just any traffic, you need targeted traffic. So, as you probably know by now, you're not going to make much if you don't work hard and if you don't market effectively. And when I say work hard, that means if you don't know how to build a website, you're going to have to learn. If you don't know where you can promote your site, you're going to have to get out here and find out ways to promote your website. It takes work. And the reason I use effective marketing is because I think a lot of people think that sending a, a blast email out to everybody in their address book is effective marketing. Or going to Facebook and sending an email to your 250 friends about your website, people think that's effective marketing. It's marketing and people will probably visit your site because they're curious, but it's not effective, it's not targeted marketing because most of those people are not going to be interested in the subject matter of your site. So you need to get in front of people who are interested in your content. If you're a fisher, if you have a site on fishing, you gotta get in front of fishermen. If you have a site on skydiving, you gotta get in front of other skydivers. You need effective marketing. You need targeted traffic. So the reason I'm doing this video is I got an email a while back from a gentleman who basically accused me of not telling all of my secrets, secrets, traffic secrets. Um, and I just kind of had to laugh. That's all you can do, right? I mean, it's kind of ironic because I spend a lot of my time on YouTube and on my site, you know, being as honest as I can and keeping it real, as many people say. Um, so I can tell the guy was really frustrated. His site had been up for some months now and he claims he had quality content and had followed my advice for driving traffic to his website, but he just could not get any traffic and he accused me of holding back and saying I'm not really saying what I have done all these years to build the thousands of visitors to my site to create a website. Now, what you guys have to understand is that to create a website, and I'm using that site as an example because it's my oldest site, it's my most successful site, and um, it gets the most traffic. So that's why I'm using that site as an example in this video. When I created it back in 2002, it was a completely different time than it is now in 2009. Marketing your website back in 2002 was so different than it is now. And in a lot of ways, a lot easier. Um, let me just give you an example. So 2002, I launched to create a website and I always shoot for search engine traffic. Google, Yahoo, Live, MSN, whatever the top engines are at the time. That's who I saw. And Google was just really starting to become very popular back then. And people were kind of switching from Yahoo and MSN and going to Google. So everybody was trying to figure out, you know, how do I get into Google and what do I have to do? So, excuse me. Back then, it was about listing your site with a, a directory out there called the Open Directory, dmoz.org. And it still exists today. You can still list your site with them today. The difference is, though, today, first of all, they are hard as heck to get into. None of my more recent sites have um, listings in the open directory. I just couldn't get in. But back then in 2002, it was much easier to get your site listed in the open directory. And once you were in, your site was almost guaranteed to show up in the Google rankings within two to three weeks. I mean, it was that quickly. I mean, as soon as you got into the open directory, you knew traffic was on its way. And that's exactly what happened. So in 2002, the latter part of 2002, I was really starting to build up my traffic mostly through the search engines. I was doing things like link exchanges, you know, where you put a link to someone else else's site and then they do the same for you. So you do like a link swap. Um, I was posting in forums, which you can still do today. I would find other forums that were related to my site and I would just develop a profile and start chatting with people and have a link to my site in my SIG file. So anyone who valued my content on the forums, if they got curious, they could link and click my site. So I did things like that back in the early days and slowly started to build up my traffic. 2003, 2004 was when article submission became popular. And everybody was trying to submit to Article City. I think Easy and Articles is the uh, site everybody uses now. But ArticleCity.com was really, I think, one of the first 
popular article submission sites. So back then it was about submitting articles to, to these directories and you got a link to your site at the bottom. So when, anytime somebody used your article on their site, you also got a link back to your site. So that helped your backlinks. And let me explain, a backlink is basically just a link to your site. And the search engines nowadays are really interested in how many quality backlinks you have. And I say quality. Back then, it wasn't so much quality. It was just about build up as many backlinks as you could through link exchanges, through article submissions. So I did that. So 2003, 2004, I kept building my traffic. 2005, 2006, hello, blogging. Blogging started, and I created a blog. Um, 2007, 2008, we started getting more into the social networking. So you got Twitter, Dig, StumbleUpon, uh, YouTube. So 2008, I started doing more YouTube videos. My point is the net has evolved and you have to continually stay on board with whatever the latest techniques are to continually market your site. Traffic doesn't just come. You don't just get 12,000 visitors to your site per day after a couple months unless you've got a whole lot of money to throw into advertising. My point is you cannot compare your situation when your site is brand new to someone like me who has a more established site that started way back when when the net was way different so what I did back in 2002 a lot of those things are no longer relevant in 2009 I would never tell anybody starting out today in 2009 that in order to build traffic to your website you need to do a link exchange you have to get into the open directory you um, you have to do article submissions now I will say article submissions a lot of people still do those today and, and have success with them I personally do not I don't feel I was getting the value for the time spent I, I prefer to do more things with YouTube and I have other things and other methods that I found that have been more effective for me now a lot of people will say article marketing still works but for me personally I just don't do it anymore but that doesn't mean it's still not as effective I wanted to say that because I know when I, I mentioned I don't do it anymore everybody gets a lot of people get defensive and they go well I still use it and if it works for you great it's just something that I've chosen not to do but um so my point is guys you have to find out you have to find relevant techniques in 2009 that work for you today if I were to give you a list of everything that I did to get to the 12,000 visitor per day traffic point that I'm at now with who create a website half or more than half of those things would not be relevant so that's why I don't talk specifically about what I did to draw traffic I've just been building my traffic over the years and I've used the tools that were relevant at that time so that's what's so important and so if you're just starting out today don't try to use an established site as a benchmark for what you need to do because what you need to do in 2009 will be different than what they had to do back then and I bet if you lined up 25 different successful webmasters or bloggers right here I bet if you line them up and and they all told their stories of what they did to to get the X amount of visitors that they have today I bet everyone's story would be different yes they would have some similarities in that maybe they use search engine optimization because search engine optimization still exists but it's just different than it was back in 2002 for example back in 2002 all you had to do was put some meta tags in your in your in the head of your page mention your keyword a couple times and you know pretty soon your rankings would start increasing oh, of course you had to do you had to get some links so because even back then you had to have a few inbound links coming to your site but um, 10 years ago they could have cared less about inbound links it was all about your on-page content and you could rank high in a few days but those days are long gone so you have to remember that when you're trying to get traffic and you're looking at someone who's already established and you're wondering you think you're doing all the things that they're doing but you're not getting the same results you have to remember that it's a different era now and even though I use Twitter I use YouTube I'm at a different point of the website life cycle than someone who's just getting started so someone the other day asked me how did you get 5,000 YouTube subscribers to your channel and I've had my YouTube channel for two years and I I only have 150 well first of all you gotta have quality content and you gotta put out videos and you know things that people want to see you don't necessarily have to have a website to get YouTube subscribers because 
I know many people who have thousands and thousands of YouTube subscribers and they don't even have a website. But for my example, how I got a lot of my subscribers is that I promote my channel on my website that is already established. So I have a huge advantage because I already have an established website and I use that to promote my other um, things. Like I use it to promote my Twitter account. I have a Twitter account that I use for my blog. Anytime I post a new blog post, it goes to my Twitter account. And I don't tweet about what I have for breakfast or what I'm doing tonight or um, that I'm going to the bathroom like some people tweet about it. It's amazing. It, <laughs> some of the things people tweet about on Twitter but I use it to promote my blog that's what's worked for me that doesn't mean that, that you have to use Twitter yourself you have to find methods that work for you and if you're in a totally different niche than I am the, the methods that you use um, the effectiveness may be different what may work for one niche may not work as well for another so you kinda have to feel yourself around and understand guys as I've said in so many videos it's all about marketing and you have to find the way that works for you what I did back in 2002 3 4 a lot of the, the tips you can use like the search engine optimization and posting in forms that are relevant to your niche but you can't compare every technique that I used to a site that is just getting started in 2009 the techniques would have to be different because the net has evolved so remember that guys, you can generate a ton of traffic, even though it's so saturated out here right now. There's a lot of people trying to make money, but there is still room for people who want to, who are creative, who work hard and, and find ways to draw targeted traffic to their site. So don't give up guys. You can do it. And I'll see you at the top. Bye bye.